Tara. Jim Bunning is remembered tonight as one of Northern Kentucky's most successful politicians and one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Bunning, a former U.S. Senator and member of Baseball's Hall of Fame, died last night at the age of 85. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch spoke with some who worked with Bunning and respected him both politically and professionally. He was one of my mentors. Katie Stein has a framed newspaper with election headlines from 1994 and her picture with Jim Bunning. Bunning was then a member of Congress whose endorsement helped Stein win her race for state legislature. That was my first election. I was so excited and, and nobody thought I had any chance of winning anything. But Jim believed in me and Jim helped me. Before he was in politics, Jim Bunning was in baseball. A nine-time All-Star, Bunning won 224 games through the 50s and 60s. He threw two no-hitters, won a perfect game. Bunning was chosen for Baseball's Hall of Fame in 1996. By then, Bunning was in politics. Bunning represented Northern Kentucky in Congress for 12 years and spent another dozen as a Kentucky U.S. Senator, where he was an outspoken conservative. As a politician, he, he was tough. John Salyers worked on Bunning's staff from 1986 through 2010. The one thing about him, I think he was uh, maybe something we don't see a whole lot of today. He, you, when he told you something, you could depend on what he told you. You knew for certain, where, whether you liked it or not, you knew for certain where he stood, and that's where he stood. I have been booed by 60,000 fans in Yankee Stadium standing alone on the mound. So I have never really cared if I stood alone here in the Congress as long as I stood by my beliefs and my values. He would not violate those principles. Jim Bunning was also a family man. He and his wife Mary had nine children. Katie Stein, who lived in Fort Thomas near her friend and political mentor, sums up Jim and Mary Bunning this way. They were Mr. and Mrs. Northern Kentucky. Which goes beyond both baseball and politics. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Jim Bunning grew up in Southgate. He attended St. Xavier High School and was also a graduate of Xavier University.